So in this recording, we will see how we can implement human in the loop by using Langraph's interrupt feature. Right? So a human in the loop workflow integrates human input into automated processes, allowing for decisions, validation, or corrections at key stages. This is specifically useful in LLM-based applications where the underlying model may generate occasional inaccuracies. Uh, it doesn't need to be inaccuracy. Let's say I need to provide some feedback, right? I can provide feedback and do multi-ton uh, interactions with the LLM using human in the loop, right? In low error tolerance scenarios like compliance, decision-making or content generation, human involvement ensures reliability by enabling review correction or override of model outputs. Now, there are three patterns that are uh, discussed here. So this is the feature that we'll use. Uh, there are three patterns, uh, design patterns. One is the approve reject pattern. Then there is the edit graph state pattern and the get input pattern. This is the pattern that we will uh, implement uh, using interrupt, right? So let's go to that pattern and see what. So this is the get input. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is the multi-turn uh, conversation. Uh, actually, yeah, this is the multi-turn conversation uh, a pattern, right? Where the LLM-based agent <coughs> generates uh, uh, generates the content, the human reviews it, provides feedback, the agent um, recreates the content by incorporating the feedback, right? This is what we'll see uh, in, the, in the code that I'm going to walk you through now. So let's go to the code. So this is the code. So I created a, uh, so I'm, I'm um, assuming that everybody is aware of Langraph, so I'm not going to explain what the state is, but uh, for this particular use case, I have created a, um, uh, the, the state uh, model like this, where uh, there is a research topic. This is a topic I'll give it to the agent. The agent will create the research content and then the human will give feedback and based on that, the research topic will be tuned, right? So the state contains a research topic, the generated text from the agent and the human feedback, right? This is what where the human feedback will be, right? I have created two nodes. The first node is what is creating the, uh, so based on a research topic, right? It is, uh, it has this prompt that this is the research topic, human feedback. If there is a feedback, so this is, um, so the feedback will be provided here. If there is a feedback, else um, no feedback yet, right? And generate a structured and well-written piece on the given research topic, consider previous human feedback to refine the response, right? If there is any, right? So this is the first note where given a research topic, it will create the content of the research using GPT-40, right? Second is the human node. This is where I have used the interrupt feature, right? So here, after the first node created the content, this workflow or this uh, flow will pause here to get the human feedback, right? So here I'm saying provide feedback or type done to finish, right? If you say, if it is done, then I'll, I'll return. So the combination of interrupt and the command feature of Langraph is what I'm using, right? So if, um, so the interrupt pauses, right? Once I give the human feedback, if I say done, then the command will directly go to the end node, right? End node is where you'll see that I end the um, particular flow. But if, it, if the human provides feedback other than done, it goes to the first node again, right? So it iteratively, it goes to the first node with the human feedback, right? And it uh, continues to iterate until I say done, right? Um, so this is the human node and then end node is just like it will uh, end it here and then uh, return the uh, final generated text, right? Um, so I added the first node, the human node, end node. So from the start, I connect to the first node, from the first node to the human node. Um, again, like human node, to the first node and the human node to the end node, right? This is for the that iterative thing, loop by unless done, right? And then I set the finish point as end node, right? Um, 
since I need to store the uh, feedback, right, and the previous context, I have a check pointer. Check pointer is a must. Here I'm using memory saver. In, in actual production, you probably will create a, a persistent uh, check pointer. Right now, this memory saver is using the uh, memory, uh, using the uh, session memory. Like after this session is done, uh, it, 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 it th this will not be uh, stored. So in, in production, you might want to create a persistent uh, uh, check pointer, right? Then I compile the graph. Uh, thread is required because thread, the thread, the unique thread ID for a particular session is what um, is teaching this this multi turn conversation together. Because if you see here, when I say uh, command, um, so where do I put the thread? So when I resume it, right? Uh, so go to end state. Uh, okay, so let me get this thread ID. So when I start it, uh, yeah. So when I invoke, right? Uh, okay. So um, when I when I start the workflow, right? I see. So it will continue, right? And when it will come to that interrupt, the human node, the node ID will be interrupt, right? So there, I, um, so if I uh, see uh, that the node ID is interrupt, that's where I loop here, right? I take the uh, user feedback and that feedback, um, I, I resume the workflow with that feedback and I also pass the thread config, right? That is, this is where how uh, the thread ID that I created, right? That is stitching this uh, entire state uh, into, um, uh, or stitching this uh, multi turn conversation uh, together, right? So when I invoke the graph, after I get the user feedback, I say resume with the user feedback and take the config as the thread ID. I come out of the while when the user says done, right? This is how the multi-turn conversation has been um, implemented in this program. Uh, let me run this and show it to you, right? So first it will ask me, enter your research topic. So I'll say, let's say I want to research on system to thinking. So the first node is generating the content using GPT 4o. After it generates, will provide some feedback. Okay, so it provided uh, the content. System to thinking is often described as a mechanism we engage when you need to reason through complex problems. Blah blah blah. System to thinking involves conscious analysis. Uh, nowhere it talks about Daniel Kahneman's uh, uh, thinking first and slow, right? So what I'll say is, please also include um, excerpts from the book uh, thinking fast and slow uh, and also do required citations. Let's see what it does. So this is the feedback that I, I gave now. It should regenerate it with my feedback. And yep, see, it's did the citation, and this is where it brought thinking first and slow the exception. All right, now I'll say, okay, I'm done. This I'm good with this done, and it should now give me the final output and close it. It's finished now. Right. So this is my um, this is this is how um, the 
the multi ton conversation has been uh, implemented uh, using the interrupt feature of flag graph so i do see there is a um, bug and it is very easy to uh, fix a bug i'll fix it but the uh, thing is like it 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 should not again so it again recreated it right when i said done it should come out and then give me the uh, last one that that i created right but that bug bug i'll fix later on but i just wanted to uh, show like how to use the interrupt and the command feature to do a multi ton conversation thank you